Hey, welcome back once again to the drinker.co.uk with me, Pete Turner, for my roundup of picks from all the UK supermarkets in the winter going into the spring 2023 2024. And in this video, these are my six recommendations right now at Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's doing some really interesting things with wine right now, really beginning to develop their range, so it's really, really good stuff. All of these wines come from the Taste the Difference range, which are really great across the board. They're all under a tenner. Now, how long I can keep doing these vids with wines all under a tenner, I'm not quite sure, but I will do my level best to recommend you wines which are affordable while keeping the, the standards high. So we've got two reds, two whites, a rosé and a fizz as always, and we are going to start off with the Taste the Difference Gamay. Now Gamay is the grape most notably associated with Beaujolais, but this one doesn't come from Beaujolais. It comes from further south in France, just near Toulouse. So it's gonna have a little bit more ripening to it. Still quite a pale wine, as you'd expect with Gamay, quite a thin-skinned grape variety. And it's still got that lovely Gamay, Beaujolais kind of blueberry, bubblegum kind of nose to it. But there is something else, there's something a little bit deeper to it, and it wants to be sort of more herbal, like dark, maybe licorice, something like that, or thyme. It's very savoury. Mmm. Mmm. And it's, it's plum and damson, not damson, no, it's plum and red and black cherry. And there's a little bit of tannic structure to it, which you don't usually get in, in Beaujolais, but down there where it's ripened, clearly it's had time to have a little bit of think about how it's gonna grow, and it's mm, it's developed some tannin there, which is lovely structure. So it's gonna make a really, really good food wine. So there you go, it's nine pounds, a bit more expensive than the wines I usually recommend, but it's from the Taste the Difference uh, range, and it's their Gamay, so how about that? Another one from France, this time, is their Languedoc Rouge. And this is made out of a blend of Grenache, Syrah, and Carignan. Comes in at nine pounds 50. First one was 12%, this is 13 and a half percent. And what do you get from Languedoc? So it's southwestern France. Ah, there's a lovely um, earthy note to it, almost like rubber. And there's a little bit of tobacco leaf about the nose as well as having some really beautiful um, red black currant black currant um, fruit to it so it's a really intriguing wine it's complex there's more to it than just basic fruit but that fruit does persist it's very fruit driven but there is that lovely herbal and rubbery and tobacco-y note to it. Almost almost a little hint of wood smoke about it, but it's beautiful wine. For 850, the Languedoc Rouge. It's made by uh, Jean-Claude Mass, who are really, really good winemakers down there in southwestern France. So great value red there. And the sister wine to it is the Languedoc Blanc. Again, made by Jean-Claude Mass. This is eight pounds fifty. And this is a blend of Grenache Blanc, Vermentino and Marsan. And here's a lovely, lovely looking wine. And it's got a really light uh, lemon peel nose to it. Really beautiful lemon pith uh, about the nose. Mm. And it's elegant and apricot and stone fruit, peach, a little bit of unripe pear, beautiful wine at eight pounds 50. So there you go, Languedoc is really doing things at the moment wine wise. Love that wine, £8.50, great, great party wine. And from there, right to the other side of the world, this is their Taste the Difference uh, Viognier from Bio Bio Valley in Chile. Bio Bio is right in the south of Chile, so it's quite cool there. Um, it means the grapes ripen more slowly and you get more elegant wine. And what do you get from that? Oh, beautiful, there's a little hint of straw, like fresh cut straw. And then there's a little touch of, I want to say floral, like a florist shop. Like when you go first thing into a florist shop. Mm. And that stays. And that becomes a little touch of gooseberry there on the, on the palate. It's dry and fresh and elegant. And it's £9.50, but it looks great. And it tastes great. And that's very, very well worth the money. So how about that for a classy wine? Okay, next along, we are in Rioja. This is Pink Rioja, Rioja Rosado, Vinedos Barrichuelo. Uh, do um, forgive my pronunciation, it's seven pounds a bottle. Um, 
white and pink Rioja used to be fearful stuff, but it's really, really improved. They both really, really improved. And it's a lovely looking pink. Uh, Tempranillo based. And yeah, there's a lovely uh, sort of Tempranillo, really think Rioja light, light on the nose, but elegant and light and red currant on the nose. Mmm. It's delicious. Red currant becomes raspberry and strawberry. It's beautiful, fresh, dry, pretty. It's only seven quid a bottle. That is a cracking little party pink uh, for the party season or a patio season when the, when the sun comes out again. What a beautiful, beautiful wine. And last of all, this is Prosecco. Taste the difference. Prosecco Conegliano. Conegliano just north of Venice in northern Italy there. Uh, 975 and it's a beautiful looking beautiful looking wine and it's got a lovely little uh, lemon sherbet lifted lemon sherbet nose mm. and the bubbles aren't aggressive at all it's beautifully light in the mouth it's soft and voluptuous and elegant and poised and everything you want it to be and at 975 okay a bit more expensive than a lot of Prosecco out there, but Conegliano really means that it's got a little bit of a hallmark of quality about it. Beautiful wine. So there's my selection from Sainsbury's for the winter going into the spring of 2023-2024. Get yourself down there. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with the way uh, Sainsbury's are going right now with their wines. So there you go. I'm Pete Turner. I'm on thedrinker.co.uk. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Twitter. Give us a like, share and follow. Let me know what you're drinking and enjoy your wine now. Cheers.